Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thundermus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thundermus Fishing Tips. And if today is it, any indication, if this cast is any indication, it's five casts into the day and we already have our first, first hookup. So if it's any indication, we're in for a nice day today. And it's Mr. Seabass. There we go, there's our start for the day, folks. So stay tuned, we're sure to have a great show. I think it's another blue. It's gotta be a blue. It's gotta be, the way he took that. Well, you got a whole mackerel on there, right? Whole mackerel is just flat lining. Whole mackerel on the viper spoon and just letting yep. it drift. That's a suspended bite and that's a blue and that's a nice blue. It's decent, I'm gonna slip on my dragon. Oh yeah, as soon as he sees the boat and the net, he's gone. Man, it sure are a lot of fun though, eh? Oh, they're great. Oh, <laughs> he's not even that big. Imagine if you get a big one. There you go, Phil. Nice blue fish. There you go. Nice. Another nice blue. Nice little guy. Gotta love it. They're a lot of fun. Double header, eh, Phil? Double header. Yeah, you gotta love that. Yours is a scup. Scuppy. Yours is a scup and mine is a sea bass. You know, when it comes to music, I'm not too crazy about heavy metal, but I love heavy metal when it comes to jigging spoons. Perfect. Nice double header. We we'll get those lines back down there again, eh? I got to re rig up. I'm going to put another one of those black uh, worms on there. Sure. Okay, I'm just going to take a minute here, folks, and show you how I'm rigging up this bow of jigger. Basically, all I'm doing is poking the head. It's, it's actually a black lizard I'm running right now, uh, as opposed to a worm. And then uh, just poke it through like so, let it hang nice and uh, naturally down below like that. But uh, bass, uh, sea bass, they love worms. So anything that looks like a worm, uh, they're going to take it. And as you saw there, Phil, he's running, uh, he's using uh, squid, a cut strip of squid. And either baits will work, folks. Um, just put your artificial or live bait on. And the key when it comes to vertically jigging, whether you're jigging with a boa jigger or any jigging spoon, on the way down, folks, let it go down on a totally slack line. That's that's one of the keys so that it has a nice erratic fall to it. If, oh, uh, if there, just missed one. If there's, um, if you have a little bit of tension on your line, what happens is that takes away from some of the action. So we're gonna keep jigging away here. And we're changing our baits up, trying different things. And just having some plain old fun. Good one, Phil. Here we go, you yep. You gotta love this jigging for sea bass. Actually, we're catching a variety of fish today, folks. We're using a variety of different baits. And we're just having a great day out here. This saltwater fishing is absolutely fantastic. If you've never had a chance to get out and fish the salt water, you really need to do so because it's just, it's really unreal. Well, oh, he's dogging today. Eh? He's giving me a good fight. Now, unlike the bass we catch at home, the largemouth and the smallmouth, these sea bass just dog it. They just like to stay down and dog it. They don't uh, wow. They don't come up and break the surface. They just power horses, down, down they go. You got that net ready, Evil? Yes, I do. Right here. That's a, good That's a nice sea bass. Good one, Phil. Then he give you a little shower to boot. Yeah. Nice fish. That's all right. Nice fish. Like I said, a variety of baits. We're using boa jiggers, we're using viper spoons uh, periodically for, uh, for for blues actually right now today. And uh, and running some bucktail jigs. It's fantastic. I think I got a big pile of weeds. Because mine hit the bottom. Oh yeah? That's a decent one. Feels pretty good. Oh, I did have a pile of weeds. Just came off. Now he's dogging it, eh? That's the other thing, eh folks? When the when the fish are fighting and peeling drag, let them take that drag. If you keep reeling while he's pulling, all you're going to be doing is creating line twists. So the way you're doing it, Phil, is absolutely perfect. Just let him take it when he wants to take it. Oh, that's a Smash. good fish. Mind you, they always look bigger in the water. Yeah. Respectable, for sure. There you go, Phil. Decent fish. Nice. Now what size, uh, what size bullet jigger are you using? I got the three ounce. Three ounce size, eh? Three ounce orange, or okay. gold I should say. Yeah. And I'm using just actually a one ounce bucktail oh, oh, oh. right now. Oh, 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 there goes the blue line. Is he on? 
He might come back. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> oh, there's a fish right there, Phil. I think it's another yeah. sea bass. Oh, look at that. Mangled, mangled my mackerel. Wow, I bet you a blue came up and just... Yeah. Hammered it. Just hammered it. Should have gave more time. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, or what you do is just let it flutter back down again. Yeah, I got another sea bass too. Nice. He's not as big as yours, I don't think. It's okay. But he will measure, no doubt.